moment you stop. I... I think? Okay, did Basil just stab us in the eye? I think that's what they're implying. But, um, we're... we're back in the town. Or is this just, um... Just a dream? Maybe. But with Basil... I don't... I don't know if I can really blame him per se for everything that's happened because he's probably just as traumatized as Sonny. I mean, he's so traumatized that he... I don't know, it seems like he doesn't believe that Sonny could have done something like that, even if it could have been an accident to the point that he imagined that there's something there that that might just be my own interpretation but I don't know I mean Basil's here so let's let's talk to him hi Sonny you find your way back home I don't know if I've ever said this properly but I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. When I gave you my photo album, I really did want you to have it. But somehow, whenever I try to help, I always end up burdening you instead. Even back then. All this pain we've been feeling, the guilt in our hearts, even if you try to bottle it all up, it all comes out somehow. I want to say, that everything will be okay. And we have no choice but to carry on. But that's up to you. Aubrey, Cal, and Hero are good friends. You have to trust that they'll forgive us. It's hard to truly believe that, but the photos in our album, they're not just photos. They're real memories. Our memories. It's proof of our friendship. Hold those pictures close, and remember what you want to protect. Huh. I'm sorry. It looks like I'm burdening you again. The path to your future will open soon, but only you can decide what to do in the end. It's not much, but I'll be cheering you on. Sonny, let's make some new memories together, okay? Don't forget, it's in the toy box. The toy box. Sunny, it's almost time. You've been through a lot these past few days. You must be tired. We all make mistakes. You've been running from this one for a long time now. It's tough to own up to them sometimes, 
but you'll forgive yourself, won't you? You can do this, Sonny. You've worked really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do now. Know that I'll always be watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be here. The toy box. Let's open it up. It's the violin. Strands of long black hair are entangled with its strings. And we got sheet music. The paper is torn and wrinkled by blood, but it can still be read. Can we play the piano? I guess not. No, oh, and there's the photo. That's where it's not uncovered. So we have the sheet music. We have the violin now. Can we go outside? Oh! Where is this? Are these memories? Yes, I got just what I needed. Uh-oh, my hand doesn't look so good. You can't just tell people that, Kel. You have to keep a good poker face. Now, when did you get behind me, Mari? I just got here, silly. Here, I brought cookies for everyone. Basil, are you taking a photo? Oh, yeah. Aw, oh, man. Don't take a photo when I'm struggling like this. Don't be so dramatic, Hell. It's just a card game. <laughs> huh? Another photo? It went so funny anyway. Is there something you're not telling us, Basil? Don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. It's a four, a six, and a six. Sixteen. It's... it's too horrible. I'm gonna lose, aren't I? Yes, you are. Mari's cookies are the best, huh, Sonny? Oh, here, don't be so humble. You know your cookies are way better than mine. Hey, that's subjective. Mari's cookies... Mari's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Oh, stop it, Hero. You're embarrassing me. It's a two, a five, and a ten. That's a seventeen? Hmm, what do you think, Sonny? What should I do? Decisions, decisions. He remembered the smell of freshly baked cookies. It smelled better knowing that Mari made it from scratch. The violin mended a part of itself. It's 
So are these lights just going to show us more memories? That looks to be the case. No, at the beach. The watermelon's all cut up. Come on, everyone, take a slice. Yeah, thank you, hero. Look at you, such a big, strong man. Aw, oh, not now, Mari. Woof. Nothing beats a nice, juicy watermelon on a hot summer day. I cannot agree. And of course, Basil's taking a photo. Hey, don't take a picture of me while I'm eating, Basil. I'm sorry, Aubrey, I just thought you looked cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Well, okay, fine. I trust you, Basil. Ew, gross. Stop spinning seeds on me, Kel. You have seeds all over your face. Well, how about this, then? Stop it, Aubrey. You're gonna give me cooties. Hey, Sonny, do you want to see the photo of Aubrey? Cute. Aubrey's so cute, isn't she? Let them play, Hero. They're just teasing each other. Remember how we were when we were younger? I used to hide bugs in your desk all the time just to see your reaction. You were always so funny. Wait, that was you? Oh, whoops. Am I in trouble now, Hero? Can I leave? Yeah. That's the last... I mean, that's pretty much everything for this memory. Taste of watermelon. A good taste. The violin meant in the part of itself. So, I would imagine that there's more... more memories to see until we fully... fully repair the violin. And who knows, maybe we'll play it with the sheet music that we have. Hmm, it looks like everyone fell asleep. I guess it's just us three now. Everyone must be feeling sleepy after such a big meal. Thank you for cooking for all of us, Hero. Oh, it was nothing. I'm just practicing a little. Glad you all liked it. One day you're going to be a world-famous chef, and you're going to cook me lots of yummy food. Huh? Wait, I am? Of course you are. I believe in you, Hero. Oh, well, if you say so. I'm glad you're using your camera more now, Basil. You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. Yeah, I guess it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Wait a sec. There's something strange in this photo. Hector, how could you? Oh, hey, little brother. Sorry, did we wake you up? You look so peaceful sleeping there. Reminds me of when you were just a baby. Hey, Sonny. I took a photo of everyone earlier. Wanna see? This could have been such a good shot, but Hector had to ruin the photo with his poop. <sighs> Maybe I can cover it up with tape later. Hey, Sonny. Can I poke your brain for a minute? I really love cooking and all, but Mari always says I'm really good, but my parents want me to become a doctor. You think I should become a chef? Sure. Maybe. We're still young. We should dream big, right? Hmm. But yeah. I'm always gonna have something to say about that. Now we remember the feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. Felt more comfortable because you knew that no matter what, Mari would always keep you safe. Time for another memory. Hey Sonny, hey Basil, what took you guys so long? Sorry, we got carried away playing this new game where you fight each other with these things called pet rocks. Basil, Basil, take a picture of my new raincoat. No, okay, one sec. Do you like it, Sonny? It's my favorite color, pink. Ew, pink is a gross color. 
That's not Cal, you're a gross color. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, Sunny, that reminds me. Mari and I were talking about dyeing our hair together. Mari said she's gonna dye her hair purple. Purple? You wanna know what color I chose? Wait, are you saying you wanna dye your hair pink? Ew, that's weird. Why do you ever do that? I don't know. I just thought it would be cute. Mari thinks so too. Hmm. I'll never understand you two and your crazy ideas. I think pink would look good on you, Aubrey. What do you think, Sonny? Yeah, I think it suits her. See, even Basil and Sonny agree. You're the one who's weird, Cal. Pfft, <laughs> whatever. So you and Basil are playing that new pet's rock or pet rocks game. Hmm. Maybe we should get into it too. Hey, I know. Why don't we go to Hobbies to check if they have any new stuff? One day I'm gonna dye my hair pink, but maybe not anytime soon. My dad is kind of strict about these things. And there's the photo. Do I maybe sense a little crush? You feel your ears turning red. And don't worry, I won't say anything. My lips are sealed. Oh, are you going on ahead, Sonny? Don't worry about us. We'll catch up in a minute. And now let's go look for the next memory. The sound of falling rain as it hit your umbrella. Sounds more calming now that you were standing next to your best friends. Only... I don't know how many memories left, but I assume it's not that much left. Are you sure you don't want to be in the photo, Sonny? Sonny is a bit camera shy. We all have those days, don't we? It's okay, Sonny. You'll get used to it soon enough. Wow, this cake looks amazing. You've really outdone yourself this time, hero. Yay, thanks, Hero. I love strawberries. Basil, Basil, what wish are you gonna make? Hey, you can't ask that, Aubrey, or else it won't come true. No, is that how it works? In that case, I wish that Kel will get straight A's in school. Hey, you can't do that. Hmm, a wish. Huh, what should I wish for? I have everything I can want right here. Oh, I know. I think I'll wish for... Just kidding. It's a secret. Aw, I want to know though. Guys, if we don't hurry, the candles are going to melt. Are we all ready to sing? Yeah, you bet. Do you want to start us off, Mari? Sure thing. And one, two, three, four. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. I'm not going to sing that. But they're singing it. Make a wish. That's a cute photo. You remembered Basil's smile as he was about to blow out his birthday candles. But you also remembered as Basil made his wish, you made one too. At that time, you wished for everyone to be happy. And now it's snowing. It stopped raining. But I imagine there's still more memories to see. Wow, a new basketball. Thanks, bro. It's no problem, Cal. You can thank me by doing a little better in school. Uh-huh, you bet. Okay, Sonny, it's time for you to open up your present. This year, you get just one present from all of us. Probably doesn't look like much, but we all had to save up for it together. Yeah, me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. And Mari and I took a job at the bakery for a while, if you remember. And me? I had to deliver newspapers every morning for like three months. And you know how much I hate mornings. We know this might be a lot of pressure, but it's been a while since you quit playing the violin. Mari told us about how you always sit in the room with her when she's practicing the piano. And there was even that one time I caught you trying to play your old mini violin, even though it was too small for you. Anyway, this was Basil's idea. 
we all decided to pitch in for a really nice one. So, yeah. We hope you like it, Sonny. This is from all of us to you. It's a violin. Ta-da! It's your very own violin. We hope you like it, Sonny. Go on and try it out. You felt a tingling in your fingers. As if on its own, your body reacted or readied the violin to play. You remembered the anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin. That it scared you, but you didn't mind, because they believed in you. And no matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them, because they were your friends. The violin regained its shape. You remembered the smell of freshly baked cookies. Oh, these are the memories that we saw. Is it time to play the violin? Sonny, you're finally here. After this point, it's going to be up to you. You know, before we met, I had a lot of trouble fitting in. Even after we all became friends, I always assumed you were going to leave me eventually. But, when others were busy doing things, you always seemed to have time for me. You would listen to me talk for hours and hours. I could always rely on you to do that. I know we've missed out on each other for the past few years, but it doesn't have to stay that way. People always tell me that I'm dense or that I'm kind of careless, but I'll always be here if you're okay with that. Sonny, we know that you're not someone who likes to take the lead. This has been really hard for you, but you have to put a little bit of trust in us too. Just because you've done something bad doesn't make you bad. You've had to live with this pain for so long and you've been keeping it all inside. It might be easier to ignore your problems, but it's okay to cry about them too. There's more good times to come. Life gets better, and you can be the one to make that happen. Whatever happens next, it's going to be your call. But we're here for you, because you want us to be. And... We really hope that this isn't goodbye. No matter how far you push your feelings down, they'll always come back somehow. And what you do with those feelings, that will be your truth. Hey Sonny, break a leg for me, alright? Whatever you end up choosing, we will always want what's best for you. Keep us in your thoughts. We'll be cheering you on. You can do this, Sonny. I promise to stick with you until the very end. Yeah, I think we'll always be best friends. That's okay with you too, right? We believe in you, Sonny. An empty music stand. Let's place the sheet music down. Stage is ready for you. It's time to play the violin.
So now we have a fight against Omori. Hmm. The music here... It's really beautiful. Now I don't know... Let's see... We can attack three times. We can calm down. I'm just going to attack. So... I don't know what Omori is. Maybe he's... Just... All of our negative feelings. Maybe... Maybe the reason why Sunny did what he did... It might have been an accident. And then he panicked. I don't know. But... Maybe Omori is... Maybe Omori is the repressed... Repressed? Repressed trauma from all of that. I don't know. But... We do know that our friends are here for us. And... They're here to support us, even after doing what we did. And it feels weird to be on the other side of Omori's stabs. But... I guess this is a way of us facing our problems. We can't really... We can't really run away from them. Amori did not succumb. Okay, there's more to this fight than I initially thought. I'm just gonna heal myself. Oh, his knife is more red than before. Erases the enemy. Well, let's just attack. Dealing a ton of damage. You've caused so much suffering, yet you do nothing. And so you've earned nothing in return. Okay, let's just heal ourselves back up, and let's remember Aubrey's wish. I hope you can find some peace, or you know, some happiness. Um, hmm. Let's use another Encore, so we can use Allegro again. Because we're not losing any juice if we do that. I think that's how it works, right? Yes. But we did take a lot of damage from that, too. Your friends will never forgive you. They'll abandon you, like you did them. And that's what you deserve. Amori did not succumb. And now, it's time to remember Hero's Promise. Last time, we made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. You tell yourself that you don't want to burden others, but the truth is that you're selfish. You, you just don't want people to depend on you. How much is this going to do from full health? Let's see, when do you think about others? How long are you going to let people take care of you? You say you care, but you're a liar. You've never done anything for anyone else. You're useless. Less than useless. You're sick. Can't cherish anymore. 
mean, all we can do now is just heal and try, try to overcome this. People like you don't deserve to live. Okay, so we have a couple more turns for Allegro. This should be enough, right? No. Oh, it is. But Amori did not succumb. Well, we can use Allegro again, and after this, next turn I'm going to heal. This music is very sad. Your friends are wrong about you. The person they love isn't you at all. You let them believe in a lie to protect yourself. I'm going to retry. Okay, I think I'm back to where I was. I have two more Allegros to use, thanks to Encore, without worrying about my... my juice. Your friends are wrong about you. The person they love isn't you at all. You let them believe in the lie to protect yourself. That was the attack that... that took us out last time. Let me just heal up, and I should be good. As long as I don't deal with that attack again. You're nothing but a liar. When they see the truth, they'll hate you as much as you hate yourself. So maybe... Maybe Omori is just... Everything bad that Sunny sees in himself. See, if they know the truth, you'll never be able to regain their trust. Trust. No matter what you do, it will be hopeless. All you'll do is make things worse. It would be better to just die. Okay, let me just heal up, and I can use two Allegros here. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I can use one more Allegro then. Okay, we're good. I can use one Allegro here, and that might be enough. That's not good! That's a big attack, that hurts a lot. Okay, let's cherish. And remember Basil's hope. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. Okay. Let's go for another Encore. And then I can do another Allegro. Jeez, that does a ton of damage. Please stop. Because I am almost dead. And Amori will not succumb. Okay, let's cherish one more time. And remember Mari's request. You'll forgive yourself, won't you, Sonny? You killed Mari. She loved you and you killed her. Okay, let's just calm down. Hero loved her, and you killed her. <laughs> Aubrey loved her, and you killed her. <laughs> okay. 
Raquel loved her, and you killed her. Basil loved her, and you killed her. We just need to forgive ourselves. Okay, I'm gonna go for an Encore and then an Allegro. Thirty damage. That's that's not much. Forty one, that's also not much. We just need to know that no matter what Ori Omori says, we can forgive ourselves. Okay, just calm down. Bring our HP back up. We can we can get through this. This isn't bringing our HP back up. This isn't bringing our HP back up. Come on. Just stay calm. You can do this, Sonny. You should just die. I want to continue.
I I have tears in my eyes. <laughs> Just wow. Wow. That last duet between Sunny and Mari. Just that Sonny reliving all of his memories with Mari and then just him waking up and just crying like we've never seen Sonny cry before. That must have just been a release of so many emotions that he's just bottled up. I'm... Uh, oh, I'm an emotional mess right now. Oh my goodness. But look. It's, um, it's the, uh, it's the versions of our friends from our head. <laughs> do they, uh, want us to follow them? Or do we follow this shadow that we've seen? I don't know, but, I mean, the way I've seen it, just everything has been leading up to, to us just moving on from this trauma regarding Mari. So I'm pretty sure like those versions of our friends in Headspace, I think it's called. I think they were just there as a way for us to cope with that repression. But I don't I don't think we need to do that anymore. I think I think Sunny I think he's finally taken those first steps at moving moving forward with his life. I don't know, but I'll at least check it out. Maybe. I don't know if this is a point of no return or anything. Oh, Sonny won't even go through. Maybe, maybe that's just his way of saying that he doesn't need to to dwell on this head anymore. I don't know. And I guess this is the room Basil is in. I have to tell you something. And that's the end of Amori. Sonny is taking that next step by telling his friends what happened. Wow, what a game. What a game. This game has easily shot up as one of my favorites. Of course, there's Clover and Sea Life, Jamie's music, and of course, Space Boyfriend, which was the big drawing point for me getting into this game. And of course, the music was a big selling point, but I fell in love with everything else. The story, the game, the characters, and I think it's just a nice way of telling a story of overcoming grief that I can I can relate to it. Now, while my while my issues aren't nearly as bad as Sonny's, I've had my own issues regarding grief, things I've done, things that have happened in the past over losing people. And this game was something I could relate to in that regard. It was a really fun and enjoyable game, and I know there's still more content for me to experience, but I don't know how to go about doing that. Maybe I can just play through the game through the rest of my free time. Maybe I can record it. I don't know. But for now, Omori is over, and Sunny is able to move on. Thank you for watching.
And it looks like Basil can move on too.